All right, now we have the power rule. And the power rule says that if we have, if we see two exponents and they're stacked on top of each other, so if we have x to the power of a all raised to the power of b, we can simplify this by saying, by multiplying the exponents together. So we'll have x to the power of a times b. So a power raised to another power is equal to that same base, and then we multiply the powers together. So let's take a closer look. I think this will make, some, make a little bit more sense. So let's say we have x squared all raised to the power of 4. Well, by the power rule, we are going to multiply these exponents together and keep our same base. So our, our x is still our base, and we multiply 2 times 4 to get our new power of 8. So x squared all raised to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 2 times 4, which is equal to x to the 8th. And again, like our two previous rules, this one makes a lot of sense as well. Um, so let's illustrate why. Um, so with our original expression here, x squared to the fourth, um, this is really the same thing as x squared multiplied by itself four times, right? Four times. So if we were to expand each one of these x squareds, well, we know that x squared is equal to I'm um, sorry, not 2, x times x, and if each one of these is multiplied together, we can expand all of them, and once we're done expanding them, we can count up all of these x's, and we can see that there are 8 of them. So this whole expression simplifies to x to the 8th, and that is the power rule.